a spy game in your mind. It has nothing to do with me. You're starting to get on my nerves now. Petrov set up a company, paid you a king's ransom. The only Petrov I ever read about was killed by my brother Victor. No, not quite. He's very much alive, and he paid you a lot of money through Xanthos Unlimited. Never heard of this corporation. Look, I have many, many investors. My money managers are the ones that handle all my financial dealings. Get them on the phone. Uh, you're joking, right? No. You think I'm just going to open up my personal finances to you? That's none of your damn business. Retire upstairs. Can go to Vegas and get married. <coughs> there are going to have to be some rules. Uh, well, I break rules. That's just the way I am. Too bad. Because you're going to have to sign a prenup anyway. A prenup? Mm -hmm. That's for gold diggers. I can take care of myself. Oh, come on, Kate. I'm a very rich man now. Oh, I see. So you think I'm just interested in your money? <laughs> I'd be an idiot to believe that's not part of it. Uh, what about me? How do I know you're not after my money? Fine. Protect yourself. Draw up your own prenup. <laughs> Dueling prenups? We're just talking about getting married, and that's what we're that's what we're discussing now. We don't trust each other, Kate. It's what makes life exciting. Mm -hmm. So I settle some money on Victor, and I get preferential treatment from the DA's office. That's what I said. I'm going to take you up on your offer. You made the right decision. I'm not interested in your approval. I just want to know whether I can trust you to keep your word. I'm family. Don't make me laugh. I expect you to cover up any difficulties that I or anyone I employ happens to encounter or create. Could you give me a hint about what you mean by difficulties? I'm not going to make this easy on you. I want to see just how quickly you can think on your feet. So just know that when the test comes, and it will come, you're going to have to recognize it for what it is and act accordingly. I'm going to keep my eyes on you, nephew. So you might want to keep on your toes. Any given day, you could rule the world or go completely off the rails. You need a woman who could help heal you, not push you over the edge. And you think that's Kate? Kate is so much like you. And when two people are alike, they just bring out the worst in each other. And that leads to tragedy. You are coming dangerously close. To what? Trust me. You don't want to find out. Oh, really? Are you insinuating that I may be crossing some imaginary line? Well, let me tell you. You have already crossed it! Really? And how is that? You know, I may have been testing you. You were certainly testing me. But when I left here tonight, marriage was on the table. But when I come back, I find out that that commitment nothing to you because it took around 10 seconds for Nicole to get her oxygen. Did it ever occur to you that maybe I was playing her? That maybe, just maybe, I was curious to find out what she was up to. And for your information, I don't apologize for anything I do. So get used to it. Well, neither do I. You better remember that. 
can't let it go, can you? This plan to help Victor get revenge. That's not what this oh, is. Oh, the hell it isn't! Are you really gonna hold on to your hatred instead of giving yourself what you really want? Is that it? I will not let him do this to me again. Do you understand me? They must I will me. not let him take away another woman I love. So what was your end game, huh, Nicole? Tell me. Was it to, what, convince me to marry you? And then what? What, poison me? Cut my throat in my sleep? Of course not. Or maybe no. you thought you could push me down the same flight of stairs that Maggie fell down. Yeah, that is. Just as long as you killed me, right? And inherited my money? So how much did you promise to give the victim? Was it half? Was it all? And now what are you going to do that your plan has gone south? Tell me. You might know, want to watch your back. Because my brother might just push you off a cliff. Let well, who knows? Maybe throw you no. in the river. Maybe, maybe I should save my brother the trouble. No. Huh? No. What? Let go of me, you son of a bitch! Don't touch Wanted me. love. Same way you wanted Nicole to love you. But love makes fools of us all. And I'll keep looking for my king, and you'll keep looking for Helena. And we're both doomed to fail. Well, then I guess we really do deserve each other, don't we? So what do you say? Maybe we should get on that flight to Vegas after all, huh? I mean, it's flashy, sexy, superficial. And at its heart, it's all about money, right? I'm sure you'll be right at home. I'll be fine. I'm fine. I am. The hell you are. You call 911. No, no, please. Just look, that's 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 very kind of you. Okay, but I, I I'm gonna be fine. I promise. Just I, I need to make a call. Can I? Can I please, please use your phone? No problem. Robert, I need your help. Being here with you, meeting Parker, it just made me believe like I could have a real life, you know? A new life that I don't know if I could ever have in Salem. So I don't know, maybe we could have that new life together. Nicole. Talk to her. Kate told the police that Nicole is the one who pushed you. What? Yeah, Nicole's going through some hell. She seems really, really scared. I mean, you have to do something. You have to let her know that you're alive. You're right. I do. There you are. 
I'm starting to wonder if you got my message to meet me back here. Well, I'm sorry. I ran into Kate, and I wanted to make sure I wasn't being followed. Yeah, speaking of Kate, um... I'm in. About my... What? Up until a little while ago, I just wanted to do the right thing. But I just got an earful from Kate, and now the right thing has turned into something completely different. So whatever plan you want to put in motion, I'm in. <laughs> what? What's so funny? <laughs> I was just about to tell you that I decided against going after Kate. You're kidding me. No. That passionate pitch? What made you change your mind? What do you think? You did. I thought about what you said earlier. And you were right. Revenge is a waste of my time. And honestly, what did it ever get me with Victor? Did it get me back the 30 years that I lost behind bars? No, absolutely not. Now I gotta start living my life again, you know? And I try to take it out on everyone for everything that went wrong. You know, find out I'm the kind of guy who can get things done. Keep quiet about it. <laughs> All right, quiet man. I might have a job for you right away. Sure. What is it? I need someone to keep tabs on Chloe Lane and get back to me. You know who she is? I ought to. I made her enough martinis while I was tending bar at a place called the Cheatin' Heart. So you're interested? Me. It's Chloe carrying Nicole's baby. Philip! Philip, look at me! Is Chloe carrying Nicole's baby? Yes or no? Wake up, you bastard! You know, now tell me, am I right? Nicole said that the timeline didn't fit, but maybe Chloe went to try again, is that it? And she didn't tell her? I know you can hear me, you bastard. Nicole deserves to know the truth, and I'm not gonna let you hold on to this lie. Do you understand me? Philip! Did Chloe betray Nicole? Damn it! You know what? You're gonna open your eyes and you're gonna talk to me, you son of a bitch! What are you doing? What is that? All right, all you right. You hear me? This stops. All right. I'm sorry. What the hell's wrong with you? I got carried away, okay? Just needed some answers. And how the hell did you find me anyway? Little Birdie told me that you kidnapped your nephew, tied him up and drugged him. Are you kidding me? Are you insane? I said I'm sorry. You're sorry. I understand it. You're sorry. Can't imagine what he knows to make you do something like this. You're put in a prominent family position. Our family. This is how you conduct business. Okay, fine. Fine. I know it looks bad. You think it looks bad? Go ahead and sleep, Doc. I'm going to take care of everything. I've spent my whole life waiting for someone like you, Nicole. And I'm going to spend the rest of my life making sure you have everything you've ever wanted. I love you so much. What'd you find out? You didn't get my message? No, I didn't. Chloe, Nicole, and Daniel did have an appointment together at the clinic in December. But then Chloe had another appointment by herself in May. In May? For, for what? What was the appointment? I don't know. I got interrupted before I could find out. Think about it, the time frame makes sense. If Chloe had a successful in vitro in May, she'd be seven months pregnant now. That's right on target. Which means it's possible she could be carrying Nicole and Daniel's baby. I just, I, I don't get it. I don't 
get it why Chloe would do something like this and not tell Nicole. Well, she knew it didn't work out the first time. Maybe she didn't want Nicole to get her hopes up. If you listen to that, she's seven months along. She's going to give birth to this baby. If it's Nicole's and Daniel's, why, why, why wouldn't she tell her? I it's a good thing. It's because of me. Look, I used Chloe, all right? I hurt her. And then I stalked her when I thought her baby was mine. She knows that I'm involved with Nicole now, and she doesn't want me to have anything to do with that baby. To be honest with you, I can't blame her. But I'm not about to walk away from Nicole. We're together now, and Chloe's just gonna have to deal with it. All right, Damos, what are you gonna do now? Well, first, I have to be 100% certain that what I'm thinking is true. All right, and then what? Well, if it is true, I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that Nicole gets her baby. I should be the no, baby. No, no, no. It's okay. It's all right. The EMT knows what he's doing. I'm so scared for Chloe. Don't worry. I'm going to make sure she gets the best care possible, okay? Okay. Look, I know Chloe isn't your favorite person. But if this little girl gets to grow up with her mother, it will be thanks to you. See what a wreck she is? No. This should be one of the happiest days of her life. If, if this is her baby. There's no doubt in my mind. And since a child's first moments of bonding with their mother are crucial, I suggest we tell Nicole the truth now. Listen to me. For the last time, you cannot Tell Nicole that that baby is hers unless you are a hundred percent sure. I would bet everything I have on it right now. You know what? If you lost all that money, it wouldn't mean that much to you. But to Nicole, who has already lost two babies, mind you, it would kill her, Demos. Okay, fine. Then we need to get the proof. The sooner the better. And I know how to get it. What kind of proof are you talking about? Hmm? A simple DNA test on the baby will show whether or not Nicole is the mother. You know damn well that you can't perform a test like that without Chloe's permission. Oh, yeah, because I'm all about getting permission. Is it just me, or did you think that Nancy was acting strange earlier? <sighs> when Nicole offered to watch Holly? Yeah. Yeah, I picked up on that. It was as if she didn't want Nicole anywhere near the baby. I'm wondering if Chloe confided in her at some point. My guess would be a definite yes. A woman knows something. But if it is Nicole's baby, why, why, why would she keep it from her? I've known Nancy a long time. I mean, yeah, she's had her moments, but she's, she's a decent person. You no, know, one thing we can be certain of is how she feels about me. You no, know, she doesn't like you very much, does she? No. She and I have always been pretty, pretty close. If that baby is Nicole's and that's the truth, I'll find out. This is tearing her apart, Brady. I will wear that. We just can't tell her. Not yet. Yeah, well, I'm beginning to question that decision. Don't question it, because I I talked to Marlena earlier. Oh, wait a minute. What? Mar Marlena knows? As, as, I talked to her as a therapist, okay? She's not going to say anything. I just needed a professional opinion on this. All right. So what was her professional opinion? We're doing it. She thinks we should wait until we have proof that Nicole is the baby's mother. We need to get that DNA test. Right, right. And how the hell are we going to accomplish that now that Nancy has the baby? You knew where she was all along, didn't you? <clears throat> you lied to me. No, stop, take a breath. Listen, I just tracked her down. I just oh, yeah, found right, her right, not right, too right, long and ago. And you didn't feel that it was necessary to inform me, even though you knew that I was out of my mind with worry. No, of course not, because you wanted to play her hero. Come on. Just keep it down, please, okay? Because if you wake Holly with all your Why didn't you call me? You knew that I would do anything for you. My God! Hey, just I, keep your voice down, I please. already made arrangements for you to disappear with Holly. I would have gotten you out of the country until Chloe came to her senses. I never asked you to do any of that. And I'm still willing to do that. But Nicole, I gotta tell you, you're driving me crazy with all these stunts you keep pulling. Look, just say the word and I will get you on my private plane within the hour. I will bring you someplace safe, 
All right? You can put all this craziness behind you. I mean it, Nicole. We can leave right now. You obviously don't know what's good for you. Or more importantly, who's on your side? Oh, yes, I do. And he's standing on the other side of that door. Time's up. All right, you know what it's... You son of a bitch! You poisoned her mind. You turned her against you me. take it easy, man. I, you think I don't know that you love her? Okay, for God's sake, Demos, just stop it, okay? I don't need any more of your paranoia, all right? Bree, let's go. Are you ready? Yeah, Please. I'm ready. You know what, Nicole? If you're leaving without me, if you're truly not in love with me anymore, then I have absolutely no reason to protect you any further. If you're walking out that door, I'm telling you right now, you're going to be sorry. It'll be the biggest mistake you've ever made. Nicole, you and Holly go on ahead. Wait for me outside. If you leave, Nicole, I'm telling you, hey, you're going to be sorry. You know what? You don't threaten her, you son of a bitch. Okay, Stop okay, doing Brady, that. Please don't. He's not worth it. It might be worth it. I love you, Nicole. Follow Brady like I instructed. What the hell do you mean he gave you the slip? All right, you know what? I'm really getting tired of your excuses. I want you to find her, and I want you to find her soon. You're lucky I have somewhere else to focus my anger tonight. Chad DeMere is not going to be so lucky. You seem extra pleased with yourself tonight. I'm a very busy man, Sonny, so unless you have something What did you do to Chad? I don't know what you're talking about. Think really hard. I just heard you on the phone. Mm. So I guess no one ever taught you that eavesdropping is rude. Tell me what you've done. Like I just said, I don't know what you're talking about. And even if I did, why should I tell you? So you can run and snitch to your cousin JJ? So I can save this family from you sinking it in the ocean. <laughs> All right, let's get honest here, sonny boy. I'm the only one keeping this family afloat. Chad DeMera declared war on us. He stole money from our pockets. The money that you were making, trafficking stolen artifacts. That deal kept Titan from going under after we lost the Orwell. After you lost the Orwell. The DeMeras ruined that too. They are our enemies. Chad is my friend. He is married to my cousin. I don't give a damn if he's engaged to your favorite dog. You're a Kidiakis. The Demiras are out to destroy us. It's time for you to man up and choose sides. There's only one family that's going to survive this. And I'm going to make damn sure that we're the ones with the future. I am the future of this family. Do you understand that? Right, right. You keep telling yourself that. <laughs> 